Hi, Jess. Oh my gosh, hi, Mrs. Anderson. We weren't expecting you today. I know, I wasn't supposed to be here till next month, but I had another last minute business thing come up, so here I am. I made my reservation like 10 minutes ago. Oh, wow. Well, you know, we always love to see you here, so let me go ahead and get you all checked in, okay? All right, thanks, Jess. I, uh... This isn't, this isn't 415. Oh, I know, I'm sorry, but someone's currently checked into that room right now. Uh, but 415 is, is my room. I, I always stay in, in that room. I know, and we always try to book you into that room, but since it was so last minute, we didn't know you were coming. I, I'm sorry. But, but I, I don't want to stay in a different room. I understand, but how about this? When those guests check out of the room in a couple days, we can move you into it. I can even have our bellman move your bags for you. Well... It seems kind of inconvenient for me to have to move into a room I always stay in halfway through my trip here. Uh, can't you just ask the people who are currently in my room to move? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, but I can't call another guest and ask them to move out of a room that they've been in for several days simply because another guest wants to be in that room. Well then, uh, I'll, I'll handle this. <laughs> Where is she going? Hello, can, can I help you? Hi there, yeah, um, I'm afraid that you're in my room, so I'm gonna have to ask you to move. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I think you're confused. I've been staying in this room for several days. Yeah, no, but, but this is, this is my room. You, uh, did, did the front desk tell you this was your room? Cause th then they must have double booked you or something. Yeah, no, the front desk definitely messed up by putting you in my room, uh, but they wouldn't call and tell you to move to fix their mistake. So I went ahead and I decided I'd come up and tell you that you need to move myself. Um, I'll be right back, okay? Sure, yeah, I just appreciate it if you know, you packed up quickly, okay? She told you what? Okay, I am so very sorry. I will be sending someone right away. Please hang tight and do not open the door again, okay? Thank you. I need a manager in security right now. Are you almost done packing in there? Mrs. Anderson? Hi, yes. Hi, I'm the hotel's general manager. Oh, perfect. You must be here to get these people out of my room. <laughs> Ma'am, as my front desk agent informed you upon check-in, there is already a guest staying in this room. Now, she did discuss with you that we'd be more than happy to move you to this room once that guest checks out. Well, then she must have informed you that I always stay in this room. Yes, ma'am, you have indicated that this is your preferred room when you stay with us. So therefore, when you make a reservation in advance, we do pre-assign you to this room. However, as you were told upon check-in, due to the fact that you made this reservation so last minute, this room simply was not available to you. But I give this hotel a lot of business. Yes, and we do appreciate that. However, it does not change the fact that this room is simply not available right now. Well, then I might just have to go take my business somewhere else. I do completely understand, so I'd be more than happy to go ahead and cancel your reservation with us, at no fee, of course. Huh? All right, and that is all done. I do apologize that we could not accommodate you for this day. Now I'll go ahead and I'll have my security help you take your bags outside. Okay, this is a very fair question. I saw a lot of people asking what was so special about this hotel room that this lady just had to have it. And I did see the comments and I found them very funny of people theorizing like, she must have left something like illegal in the room, check the toilet tank. That's really just not the case most of the time. Especially with business travelers, you can find that if they're coming to your hotel a lot, they do find themselves attached to certain rooms. Now, maybe it's because they like the view. Maybe they like how far it is from the elevator. Like, there's a ton of reasons that a guest could decide that this room is their favorite. And sometimes there's no reason. Sometimes guests just get irrationally attached to one room without ever seeing a different room in the hotel. Even when my bonus mom was traveling for work, there was this hotel that she always stayed at that always put her in the same room. And one day they did it and she accidentally just on autopilot went to that room and tried to open the door. Now she didn't pull up Miss Anderson, but she was like, oops, this isn't my room this time. Now, when I worked at the business hotel, I did have another guest who got irrationally attached to one room type. And sure enough, there was a day that he showed up and that room wasn't available. Now we knew he wouldn't be happy about it. So we went ahead and we upgraded his room type. And so when he came to check in, we tried to sell him on it. We were like, this is a bigger room with a lake view, with a balcony, like you're gonna love it. It's actually one of the best rooms we have. And he was all, no, 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 it's not my room. It was a whole fight with this grown man. And finally we got him to agree to just look at the room. Like, dude, just, just go look, just go, just go look at the room. Look at it. 
and tell us you hate it. And what happens? He goes to the room, calls down, and is like, Whoa, this room is amazing. I love it. Wow, who would have thought? Us. We knew because we've actually seen all the rooms at the hotel. You've only ever seen one. But all's well that ends well, and he did actually trust us from then on to put him in good rooms. 